Hey everybody, welcome back to Spoon FPV. I'm doing the build video for the BX5, and one of the things that I have in it is this TBS Unify V2 here. Just not going to focus on that, that's fine. Um, and the this is the cable that I had for it, right? It's kind of like all just jacked up. Let's see if we can get that to focus. All right, that's the only cable I had for it. And I was really looking for those connectors, and I couldn't find them. And then uh, I did find them through GetFPV. And it's this cable, but it's not specifically for that, right? And then that's the... I'll put the link in the description for it, but that's the SKU number for it, or whatever they use. Uh, but the pinout on this is different than the, the pinout for this, or at least the color code, right, is, is completely wrong. So I want to show you how to switch these before I go into my other video so that I can point back to this and so that nobody makes the mistake. So this is going to be a quick tip on how to replace the cable for the TBS Unify for $2. So... Let's get into it. All right, so this is the, the cable that comes with the the Unify, the TBS Unify uh, V2. And I basically destroyed most of mine and I, did, I, did, I couldn't find replacements for them. So what I wanted to do was show you guys, I finally did find a replacement for it and it is this part from GetFPV and I'll, I'll put a link in the description and but basically before you do it the pinout is wrong on this so if you look at this is the right side here if you look at these sides you see that the the color code is wrong so we're gonna have to repin it to make it work inside of this or or you could just remember you're you're prone to make mistakes though on on the other end when you snip it in half right when so uh, oh, and I've already done this end, right? So you can see that this end is correct. So you have to do this to both ends. Um, well, actually, you don't have to do it to both. You have to do it to the end that you're going to use because I'm going to cut it in the middle and direct solder to the board. But you see it's uh, red, black, yellow, yellow. Unfortunately, there's not a white wire, right? But I'll mark the white wire on the, the, snip, the snipped end with a, with a black magic marker so that I know which which one it is when I'm... Uh, doing the soldering on this side and I wanted to so let's Show you how I repin this so basically we're Just take a razor blade in here. You don't want to bend these up too much Come on All right, so we just take a razor blade in there and you pull the, the wire out and We're gonna do that for all of them but the audio one that's right here in the middle because that one we can leave in place but all the rest, the color, the colors are wrong. So I got them all out, and now we just got to we pull the factory one here, and we look, and we see that it goes red, black, white, yellow, right? So we're gonna do just like that. We're gonna do red, black. We don't have a white, it's just yellow, yellow. And you notice I'm not pushing them in, right? Because I'm gonna actually push them in with a pair of tweezers. So, so that I don't bend the wire. So there, now they're in. You shouldn't be able to pull them out. And then uh, the way that they go in too is there's a little notch. I don't know if you can see that, but there's, here, let's zoom it way in. There's a little notch on the top of there. Uh, sorry, I don't have a macro, but that little notch uh, clips into this little clip up here. So we'll do that. Come on. And the reason I'm pushing them in with the pair of tweezers is because we don't want to take the wire and just jam it in there because you'll bend it like that and that's really bad for the connector so this is one of my destroyed ones by the way so all right now we're going to check it against the the standard here we got red black white yellow and we got yellow yellow and when i'm putting this into the so let's see all right so when i'm putting this you can see how much longer this one is too right and it's silicone so that's really nice it's a lot longer so when I'm putting this in there, I'll cut this one like where I, to length that I need it, and then I'll I'll 
I'll put a multimeter on here and measure continuity on the yellows on this end and then I'll mark the other end so that I know which one is the audio, which one's the video. And that's it. So that's my quick tip and I wanted to put that out before I put the build video out showing this wire because I didn't want anybody to, to, to screw it up if, uh, if they followed that instruction. So, all right. Thanks for watching.